Hi, welcome to this instructional video. Today we're going to cover how to build a mailing list using Google Earth in Parlay 2.0. With this instructional video, you will have received a couple of sheets. First is this, again, how to build a mailing list. This is the step-by-step. -step. First, just a little overview. Our company is called Land All. We're in the business of buying and selling raw land. And raw land simply means that it's land without buildings, without homes, without businesses on it. We're just looking for land. And we utilize these two technologies of Google Earth and Parlay 2.0 to help us build a mailing list that then we can put together and send offers to the landowners to purchase their land. So we're going to walk you through this and uh, you can read through this ahead of time and have this along with uh, as you're watching this video. So the first step <clears throat> is to go and make sure that you have Google Earth downloaded on your computer. If you do not, here is right through here, here's the link that you can go and download Google Earth. It's a free download. After that, we're going to open the browser and we're going to go to reportallusa.com. So for myself, I use Firefox. You can use any browser that you want. And we're going to type in the www.reportallusa.com. Once we're here, we're going to click on the products tab in this upper right hand corner and we're going to click on the Parlay 2.0 icon and then we have to log in. Now on my machine uh, it brings up the username password it's listed on your instructional sheet the username is land owl one word all lowercase and the password is land owl 2016 with a capital L and a capital O. Click submit and that brings us to this, this uh, page here. Click here to launch Google Earth with Parlay 2.0. Now it should default to opening it with Google Earth. If not, you'll have to um, select that default. Default, excuse me. And then that'll bring us into Google Earth. Now for me, since I've been here before, it automatically has my starting point set so um, if you're not familiar with Google Earth you'll need to play around with it a little bit if we scroll out here we'll see that here is the, the United States uh, Florida California good old Minnesota's up here that's where I'm from and our company is working at buying and selling land in this area here of Colorado so you can scroll in or out using these. I like to use the, the wheel on my mouse. You can also maneuver around the screen with the arrows on your keyboard. So if we come in here and I have push pins marked on somewhat of a rectangular uh, square area here. <clears throat> these are GPS coordinates and you will have received this Excel spreadsheet to go with the training. Now the upper left, lower left, upper right, lower right push pin or latitude, longitude, those GPS coordinates are listed here and you'll have to utilize these into Google Earth. To do so is easy to do. When you look at this search bar up here you can simply cut and paste or copy and paste these into the search bar and where did my sheet go and that will take you to that location and now one thing you want to do when you when you put these no space you can just put them right next to each other and click search and that'll take you right into that GPS spot so we're it's going to zoom us right into there now with Google Earth, it's using Google Earth in conjunction with Parlay 2.0, which is parcel layover. And that simply means that it gives us these blue lines, and these are the property boundaries. Now these uh, are the, the people that we are going to mail 
an offer to purchase their land. And in order to do so, we need to collect the information on the owner, who's owning it, and their address that we can mail to. Now, if you scroll out, you'll see at some point those blue lines go away. So you'll want to kind of scroll in right up to the point where you get that little housing icon. And we're going to work back and forth across the screen in those quadrants of the push pins. So for example, if I click on this blue icon, it gives me the parcel ID number. So here's where we're getting into the nuts and bolts of what we want you to do. So a good way to do this is to minimize your Google Earth and put that across from your Excel spreadsheet because there's two things from Google Earth that we're going to gather into this spreadsheet and then the next training video will walk you through how to gather the rest of the address information so we can develop a mailing list. So as we come in here we want to again just scroll in, zoom in up to the point where we see the icon. Now we're going to work left to right back and forth collecting the data from here. So here I want two things please. This parcel ID number so it's um, let's see that's not what I wanted. Uh, I want to get back to Google Earth here. Okay. I'm going to close that out and we're going to get over to our screen. So here I'm going to copy in that number 715-61870, And I'm going to copy in the acreage. Now on your instructional sheet, it will say to round that up or down to the nearest acre amount of 1, 5, 10, or 15. So here I'm going to round that to five acres and this parcel acreage I'm just going to put in five. That's what I want to record off of that one and then I would move to the next one take the parcel ID and the acreage size even 6.8a we're gonna round that down to five because that is closer to five acres than ten. shrink this a little bit so we can jump back and forth and and we'll simply work back and forth across there now one thing that I'd like to cover the first time that we opened up Google Earth I'm gonna close these down here and we came in and we at the start of the video we had you open up your browser and then we went to the report all USA okay but you only need to do that the first time on subsequent times when you uh, go into Google Earth to gather information what you'll want to do is simply open up your Google Earth because it'll leave that Parlay 2.0 on. That parcel um, mapping will continue to be there each time. So now here it's doing exactly what I didn't want it to do and it's not if you come in here and you do not see those blue lines um, you what you'll see is right here I don't see that the parlay 2.0 was turned on so then I was incorrect there I'm not exactly sure why it did that I'm going to have to go back from the start click on the products go in through parlay 2.0 and open that <clears throat> 
No, I'm hoping that it comes up. Yeah, see right here, it immediately tells me that that parlay parcels is turned on. So now I have these blue lines. I'm not quite exactly sure what happened there, but um, these are first the county outlines. We're working right here in Castilla County. So as we come in, and again, we can come, I'm gonna zoom in to this, this point here. and it should give me my parcel lines for that property. If I click on that, I then have my parcel ID and I have my acreage size. That's what I'm looking for. If I kind of shrink that down to give me half the screen size and open up my spreadsheet, I can then start to collect. I'd like this to, to go half and half with me. All right, so that is the first step as far as collecting information in order to build a mailing list. Next video will be on how to gather the rest of this information.